As many families prepare for the Memorial Day weekend, emergency officials want you to know that the king tide and high surf remain a threat. The high tide and high surf made a big splash in Waikiki this evening. This was in front of the Sheraton Resort. Even a sunset walk on the beach was made difficult as the waves rolled in. We also saw water levels rising in the Alawai Canal, in the Mapunapuna area, and also on the Big Island. Tides are expected to stay high through the weekend, especially tomorrow with a south shore swell. Elisa Arevalo joins us now with more. Elisa. Joe, Oahu's South Shore beaches were all hit pretty hard by the king tide, and it's not over yet. More king tides are expected to roll through the islands tomorrow and again later this summer. Water washed up onto beaches, splashing people both in and out of the water in Waikiki Friday afternoon. Visitors snapped photos and video of the king tides and got soaked in the process. For the second time in a month, the Hilton Hawaiian Village canceled its Friday fireworks show because of the high tide. Meanwhile, over in the Alawai Canal, water crept past the banks of the canal, causing concern for the keiki and canoe clubs. When you're dealing with kids who are water kids anyways, and they surf, and they swim, and they boogie board, they have cuts on their feet, you, you get a little bit worried about them touching the water, you know, too much and possibly getting an infection. Some paddlers I spoke with tell me they've never seen the water this high before. I was pretty shocked. Um, I was kind of like, I was like, whoa, what the heck, why is it? But it never gets to this part right here. Next month, it'll probably be over the road. More king tides are expected Saturday and again this summer. Ocean safety is on high alert. We anticipate um, the waves to be bigger than they've actually manifested themselves at this point. Um, with the reported wave heights of eight foot faces, we were very concerned about overtopping on the um, benches and ledges from Port Lock Point around to the Mokapu tide pools. Despite the forecast, paddlers say it won't slow them down. The love for the sport is still, it's still there. Even with the, the rise of the water, it doesn't affect the paddling. It's just more concerned of like the equipment and how the things are going to be overnight. Yeah. Now, ocean safety officials are reminding the public to be safe when going in the water. Lifeguards will be keeping a close watch on beachgoers, especially toddlers, to make sure they aren't swept out while playing in the sand. Be sure to stick with KHON2 as we continue to monitor this king tide situation. Elisa Arevalo, KHON2 News.